What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane and today I want to make this short video showing you guys my slider sets that I'm using on both NCAA Football 14 and Madden 25. So first off I'm going to get into NCAA's settings that I use in my Minnesota Gophers Dynasty and I created this set of sliders by starting out at default Heisman and then tweaking the values of the user and computer to give me a more realistic game and to make the game just play better. You'll see that I use 8 minute quarters and that my player minimum speed threshold is still at the default value of 50 and you'll get a bigger discrepancy between fast and slow if you mess with that slider but I've never been a big fan of tweaking that mainly because I don't want to create a big mess and have to start tweaking things to make faster players not completely dominant but now looking at penalties these are all default and I believe they have big impacts on gameplay but I'm not the most knowledge person when it comes to sliders so I generally just keep these alone and focus on the user and computer specific sliders like Quarterback accuracy is one of the first things that I tweaked, and I brought it down from 50 to 15 for the user. You see a few other things like run blocking down to 45, interceptions to 40, and then I'm, I want to do more things with special teams to make field goals not automatic and punting a little bit more realistic, but that's going to take some time to maybe test, and I just haven't done that yet. On the computer side of things, my accuracy for them is a little bit higher, and I'm still tweaking that because the computer is very good at quarterback on Heisman difficulty, even when you lower this slider, and so I'm tweaking it by little increments and by the way every time you tweak a slider in here it's by an, an amount of five so you're not gonna be able to go to like 47 on any value it's gonna be 50 45 40 and so on but I feel right now with these sliders I'm getting very good games in my series and I haven't touched the sliders since like the first part of the season really like that losing streak that was all the same slider we played the same sliders that we lost to New Mexico State on as we won against Wisconsin and Nebraska so I feel like our strengths and weaknesses are being portrayed properly in the games and I'm getting a lot of fun games so I'm having a great time with the series Minnesota Dynasty has been a lot of fun but let's transition now to Madden 25 where the slider situation is a little bit trickier sometimes partly with the way you implement them and I'll talk about that in a second but first off just the settings and I recommend that you enter all these at the main menu and take care of it that way but I play on custom sliders that are all Madden basically 14 minute quarters 15 is doable as well you get a few more plays a game 13 minimum play clock time on that accelerated clock and then injuries at 15 and there are a lot of injuries in the game and specifically I couldn't play at a higher level because quarterbacks get hurt a lot and when I hadn't started the series yet because I was testing so much I was playing so many backup quarterbacks when they would get hurt during the game I know in the in the franchise my Rams franchise we're playing a lot of backup quarterbacks but they're getting hurt when we're not playing them most of the time so it's a different type of issue those are the penalties you're seeing right now those do have a major effect on the gameplay so you must enter those penalties and now here are basically the meat of the sliders these are the player skill sliders and you'll see it right away the user accuracy is low and it's gonna punish you if you use a lower rated quarterback and I feel like Sam Bradford is sometimes inaccurate on some throws in my franchise but he shouldn't be perfect he's not the perfectly rated quarterback and now we'll look at the computer side of things and one thing I'm still tweaking a lot is blocking and I know Chris Long has a lot of sacks in my series but there's some things that you can't fix with sliders and one of those is the quarterback basically take off AI I don't know how to say it the scrambling AI where they always like go to the right and cut up field right into your defensive end and that happens to be Chris Long and so he's gotten a lot of sacks from guys like Colt McCoy taking off and I feel like it's a decent setting for just beating the right tackle or the left tackle for Robert Quinn the, the other defensive end but the scrambling AI does mess with sack totals quite a bit and run blocking is still something I'm messing with. I've gotten some good games against me with some better running backs in the game. And then there are some games where the run game is completely non-existent. So it's a, it's a tough thing to deal with. And I'm not sure how much hot and cold streaks are playing a factor. But these are the settings I'm using, guys, in both my dynasty and my franchise. If you're looking for a good game, hopefully these can help you out. On Madden, remember to enter these at the main menu. And then go into your series and make sure your settings are set to all Madden. And then import these sliders and you hopefully will get good games i'm getting some pretty fun games and i'm also still trying to tweak some things with like computer run blocking and just getting that to a level where it's kind of stable and playing realistically these sets are not perfect but hopefully they're a good base set for you to edit from like the ncaa set that was completely mine the madden one is derived from charter 04's on operation sports he created a great set to begin with my franchise 
and from there I've made some necessary tweaks to make the game a little bit more difficult and realistic and to get some more balance but I'm still tweaking some things but I'm having fun at least with both series so hopefully you guys do as well if you're looking for those sliders that can help you have fun remember I try to play pretty realistically and so if you're gonna try to get a realistic game you have to play realistically and you can't abuse money plays or anything like that but hopefully these help you out guys thanks for watching I'll see you next time have a great day